Hello, Gary Champion, Psychic Medium, once again. I uh, just wanted to let you know I'm back to making rings that are for sale on my website. Here's a couple examples. Here's a, a green um, opal. And here's a Isacola. Anyway, if you like rings and want one, you can order them off the website. Today's video is don't wait. Give a lot of readings over the years, and it's amazing how many people have left things un unsaid. Someone has passed, and they've left things unsaid. And it's not all their fault or your fault. Um, people push back. They they keep you from being personal with them. They don't want you that close. There's, there's just people like that. There's not much you can do about it except... Crap, this is about me. Okay, um, I have a relative that for 30 years I didn't talk to. Because every time I did, it was... Not appreciated. They're trying to help as a medium and then finally they stopped answering my phone calls, see my number, they just didn't answer anymore. And um, I don't feel like I left anything unresolved. I'm sure he did. And um, It's a relative of mine, so he's around. He's come around since then. I mean, we, we talk periodically, rarely. Maybe he doesn't like me even though he's passed, but he comes around periodically, offers a little advice. He can see things that I can't see. So um, I'm not mad at him. Uh, he chose to live his life, and he chose not to speak to me, which is his right. And if you've done everything you can do to resolve whatever these problems are, then there's not much else you can do. But many of these people who have passed had unresolved issues with you or anybody and didn't reach out. You know, if you have a sister you haven't talked to for 20 years, what the original argument was about, nobody can remember. Or... Someone dated some old boyfriend, or I mean, it could be anything, but all of a sudden the walls come up. You don't want to leave these things unresolved because you carry the right. The reason I'm doing this video is you carry them with you to the other side. I mean, um, unresolved issues of a personal nature have to be resolved at some point. If you don't resolve it here, it's a little, it's a little tough be difficult to do. In other words, while the situation is the problem, if you resolve it at that time, it's much easier to move on. And my unresolved issues with this person have been resolved. And often that's all it is in a in a reading. Sometimes that's that's what happens. One what happened recently where someone called I don't know if I can say specifically what happened because she's out there. I'm going to say that um, this person thought that they had maybe caused that other person's death. That's that's the worst one. And um, by not giving him a pill that was supposed to be given to him for seizures. And um, I didn't know anything about the pill or any of this stuff, but the, the guy that had the unresolved issues came in and said, blue pill. Is there anything about a blue pill? And she said, that's the pill I was supposed to give him. Well, he says you gave it to him. So, you know, uh, it's a minor thing, but it's a huge thing in this person's mind. 
he actually got the blue pill, so she didn't, he was going to pass anyway. He had, he had run his string out as long as he could. He had a terminal illness that no one could fix. And it would have made maybe a few hours difference, but not much. Still, you feel guilty about it, that you didn't do something, and now it's unresolved because he passed shortly after. But he came back in a reading to tell her that he got his blue pill and she had nothing to do with his death. Now, this is the best kind of resolved thing that happens while she's here because her life is better now. She understands that she had nothing to do with it, which is a huge guilt thing on someone. So that's an example of something that maybe they should have talked about. It's a few days left, a few hours left. I guess maybe that's a tough one. But arguments you have as a child, um, friends that go astray and never come back and you wonder why is it something you said? Is it something you did? While they're still here, no one gets out of life alive. Everyone passes. So before you pass, try and resolve all these issues. Because there are people out there that think they're just going to live forever because they're rich or they're handsome or, or they're pretty and they have a lot of money or whatever. But it's not true. Everybody passes. At some point, everybody's going to pass. And try and resolve all these little issues you have with these people here because then you don't carry it to the other side. And for some reason, it's a little more difficult to, to resolve over there, and I wouldn't think it would be. But meanwhile, that person's passed, and you've got 30 more years to live with this in the background where you, you feel guilty about something you didn't do, you didn't say, you should have resolved this issue, and, and it just kind of... It's one of those things that it doesn't ruin your life, but it doesn't make it any better. It's always in the background back there and periodically you daydream about it. So just saying before someone passes, if you have all these issues, why not talk about it? I, um, I have a friend that I've known since 1962 and um, he's passing, it's just a matter of time. He's not in good health. And um, I was talking to him yesterday and he said, ah, just finished my breakfast. I had eggs and bacon and, and toast and jam. And he just went on and on about all the stuff he had eaten. And uh, he's taking chemo and everything. It's amazing he's hungry, but he is. And um, that's not good for you. He says, hey, hey, man, I was supposed to be dead by July 4th. So get, cut me some slack here. I'm still here. And as it turned out, he is sort of cancer free. They sort of killed it. But he has other health problems. Any number one could, you know, COPD, things like that. Great guy. And we talk periodically, although we haven't talked in a long time. We have no unresolved issues. We've talked about everything. And a great guy, and I just thought it was funny. I'd tell you the story about it. I was, I was, I was hollering at him for eating all that stuff for breakfast. I wouldn't eat any of that stuff for breakfast. I want to have a piece of toast, maybe. And, uh, he he just went right back at me. He says, hey, man, I'm supposed to be dead by July 4th, and it's like the 10th, so cut me some slack. <laughs> so sort of a sad video and a happy video. And I want to wish you all the best. Um, what I really want to wish for everybody's happiness. Um, that seems to be a theme of mine lately that I'm putting into videos that if you can get your hands around some happiness, life is really a lot better. And no matter what it is, your personal life, your work, career, life path, um, anything, find some happiness somewhere. And of course, no fear, no regret, no anger. Thanks for watching.